Okay, so we're going to work with some regions this morning. Uh, I've imported this Apple loop. Uh, which is pretty great. A um, couple of things that you can do that are fun. Um, you can actually use the marquee tool. So that is if you um, hit command and uh, your pointer tool turns into the marquee tool here. And now you can highlight whatever piece of audio you want click on it, it becomes its own region. Uh, that's pretty useful. Also if you click on a piece of audio and hit the letter M, it will mute it for you. So, uh, also pretty useful. Uh, let's back up here. You can also, uh, so let's undo what we just did. Move over here. Let's turn this into a loop of a couple of couple of bars here. Hit the C button and it turns this little green bar on on the top that's cycle. So that means that when it gets to the end here it's just going to go back to the beginning. So let's say we we don't want this little chunk of audio here. Click on the marquee tool highlight the part that you want. Then you can either hit M to mute it and notice also that it turns your second Apple loop into its own region that's independent from this one. If you unmute it, it remains uh, unchanged. You can delete it, which is great. If you delete it, you can always put it back by going to the bottom right or left and turning the trim tool on. So that's that's what this little fella is. It's the trimmer. When you want to extend the the loop, uh, let's see. When you want to extend what you've already done, that'll only go for the length of the loop. The top is where it actually generates a new one. So, all this stuff, pretty useful ways of having fun with uh, just a couple of tools available to you in Logic.